tell me some of the most ridiculous ad scenes that you've shot. And look, I, I'm not saying I know better than the people in Montreal or the people wherever they are that monetize porn. I'm, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying as someone that's been around through all the iterations of, except for the golden era back in the 80s, I started in 1992 um, as a PA. So I've seen how that goes. So maybe that's just reality. It's fine. But the scenarios tend to all be the same, right? They're just varying degrees of... of um, They'll change it up a little bit, but I, I sometimes I will get scripts sometimes where I'm like, I already shot this one. They added this little extra thing here, or they took away this little extra thing. But you know, I mean, there's always the, the GoPro shot. You've seen it a million fucking times. Somebody opens a fridge, the fucking there, and there's the point of view of inside of the fridge, and then the stepson walks up behind them and fucking just haphazardly jams his cock in her. And she's like, oh my God, I was just getting a pie out of the freezer. How did this happen? I don't know. There's somebody, that kind of thing. It, it's absurd. They always want that. They want anything that will make that 10 second GIF as interesting as possible. And so they recycle a lot of stuff too. You know, mm -hmm. um, they, there are certain positions. People complain sometimes that, you know, porn is so formulaic. It's always the same positions over and over again. Like in girl, girl porn, for example, a lot of the ads want scissoring. They always yes. want that. Oh my god, uh, that does very well for us. Every it's the worst scene. fucking thing. Scissoring. If you actually care about um, lesbian erotica, as I like to call it, I, it's my favorite thing to shoot. If I have actually anything that I enjoy shooting, it would be that. Girls don't do that. Like it's just not a thing you do. It's a thing you do when you run out of ideas. It's like, yeah. well, we still need five more minutes. Well, I guess fucking pretend you're both fucking grasshoppers and do this for you know. And <laughs> all right, we're good. Let's go get lunch. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but they they want that. So there's not a whole it's lot. It's because of, with girl girl, like it's the most action in a position, right? Because right, right? exactly. otherwise they're kind of static. Or a giant fucking dildo or something, right? Yeah. But I always say with girl girl porn, it's like, okay, if I want to see a girl impaled by you know this giant fucking black dildo, I'll just subscribe to Dreads OnlyFans, and I you know I don't need to you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm still, I still try and be as creative as I can within the parameters that are set. I mean, my main gig, I should plug it, is um, for Mile High, which is Sweet Center and Sweetheart and Doghouse Digital and Reality Junkies and the great uh, John Blitt, who's employed me for the last three years. Shout out. Anyway, uh, he also, he knows of my low self-esteem and he plays on that a lot. So I feel like he takes advantage of me, but uh, you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> oh, maybe you did. All right. Um <laughs> But I started shooting for Wicked again. It's probably only once or twice a year, but they're like, just write a funny script. We, You're our comedy guy now. So I'm like, all right, that I can do. And I did that, and that was fun. And there's no, there was no ad moments that had to be in it. It was just write a funny movie. So so that's cool. But I also need to feed my dog and myself. So I'll shoot as many people stuck in washing machines as you need me to shoot. So, you know. <laughs> If you, in fact, still think I'm, uh, uh, you know, worthy of uh, gainful employment, uh, reach out to me. I'm always available. I just want to let you know. <laughs> and I'm sober now, so it might be in focus. Just letting you know. 